arriving at the track are uh, very little hospitality. <laughs> it's quite impressive. Kind of impressive as well. We could sleep. We could sleep there. Andre is hiding. <laughs> I'm hiding my data from Kevin. <laughs> Already. Already from our, the Audi type. <laughs> Just arrived. <laughs> nice and sunny. Yep. Hey. Perfect. Here we are in our pit box. There are above us our rooms, your spare parts. It's a big setup here in Le Mans. I'll uh, give you uh, a more detailed tour in the next couple of days. I have to go and fix out my mother home now. Good morning from day two in Le Mans, Saturday. We arrived yesterday, came into my RV, looked at all my stuff was here, we had the first meeting. Today we have Bizage, they call it, so it's scrutineering in the city. It's quite cool, so I'll show you guys around. And then not much else. Probably take my bike, go around for a spin around the track, have a massage, then one more meeting and briefing. Pretty relaxed day today. So here we are in our motorhome village. My motorhome is right here. Andre is hopefully sleeping there, Kevin there, and, and then the others. So we're gonna stay here for almost 10 days. So I thought I'd give you a small tour. But those who follow me know me. I love staying in motorhomes. Makes you feel at home. Coffee, where I can make my nice food. My oatmeal is ready for breakfast. My friend Dane Cameron brought me some nice from America. Double red chocolate. Brought a bunch of stuff for food, like maybe a little bit too much. <laughs> Rice, granolas, oatmeal, pancake, it's a lot. But I wanted to feel at home while I was here, so I brought everything I had and uh, let's see. Here there's a really nice bedroom for Emily. I was here first, so I went through all the motorhomes homes and picked the one I like more. An extra bedroom where probably Emily and Jacqueline will sleep during the race. Small living room, that's my room. Magic place. And that's about it. My dream is one day when I race back in America at the end of my career to buy a big RV, take the family with me, and just travel around the racetracks. Ready for speed the nearing. Want to continue 100 years, three, and even for my. Finally, my first ever chance to fight for all the my overall victory, so. They cancelled my route. <laughs> Mais tu, tu sais pas encore comment aller au circuit. <rire> J'ai rien quand il fait ça de chemin avec Isaac. T'es belge ou t'es pas belge Je suis un vrai belge, pas là. La... Ah, je suis là <rire> Allez, donne-moi ça et concentre-toi sur la route. Je suis sûr que tu vas trouver. Alors, est-ce que Lorenz va trouver la route pour aller au circuit C'est sûr que c'est pas pour toi. Oh là 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 Il a le choix Five minutes later. <laughs> Just went for a quick bike ride. Bike ride. It's quite warm outside, so it's nice to go out. It was quite a cool morning with the passage in the city. Very busy. Easy afternoon. Now we have driver's briefing left. And then time to eat something. Sunday in Le Mans, one week before the race. Today it's finally time to get in the car. Super excited. It's called a microphone. <laughs> hey Nick Tandy. You never watched my YouTube videos yet. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we finally start driving. Super exciting. Today I'm gonna head down the pit lane in a couple minutes. Watch the car start in five. So uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Super cool. This is a bit of a ritual which I always do. First practice of free time atmosphere always gives a bit of goosebumps. First laps in Le Mans and hypercar done. Adam quite proud actually it's been a, a bucket list in my career you know it's just a test and you know we want to win the race uh, it's cool it was fun it's quick I'm proud that I have somehow achieved that already it's been a dream of mine and uh, now we have to work a bit but uh, we ended second in the in the morning session so uh, not too bad but still a lot of work to do so Let's go. Go. 
Yeah, ah. that's the GoPro, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> How was the day, Grace? Good, finally happy to uh, have downfalls again. <laughs> Time to go to bed. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It's Monday morning. Today we have nothing to do. Trying uh, not to think too much about race cars because it's a long week. Try to do other stuff. I'm going for a bike ride with uh, some other drivers. <laughs> and I'm having a morning chat with Emily. Hello, Emily. <laughs> Peanut butter, banana, oatmeal, some tea. We're gonna do like a two and a half hour, three hour ride with Zrenge van der Zande, Fjordbach, Marcus Sørensen, Robert Kubica, EVA, Dane, Cameron. So gonna be a bunch of drivers, gonna be fun. Have a coffee and then in the afternoon probably head down to the team and uh, still watch a bit of data from yesterday or something. Maybe with my teammates have a nice dinner in the evening, so pretty relaxed day. Looking forward to it. Steering wheel. So I don't know who of you already seen it, but it's it's quite complex. You see there's a lot of buttons and uh, and paddles. I cannot unfortunately tell you everything uh, because it's classified. You see there's a lot of dials in here, a lot of different buttons for brake, drive function, traction control over there. And very often we get messages like yellow delta 4. It means we have to go this one on D, switch to up and down to number four and then confirm it. And like this, there's 20 million other options. It's very busy when we're driving. That was one of the most difficult things in the beginning of the car. It's quite a lot of stuff to think about and to do. But uh, in the end, if you work it out, it's quite cool. So we're having a driver barbecue. It's time to film some impressive stuff. Matt Campbell cutting onions. <laughs> so, uh, Bucetta, Bucetta, what do you call him? <laughs> Bruschetta is in charge of the grill. Almost one 
4.30, finished Thursday. Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> Qualified for Hyperfold. I think Kevin was just very unlucky every time with traffic and wrong spot at the wrong time on the track. Qualified ninth and top eight goes into Hyperpool. But to be honest, I mean, I personally don't care at all. Um, qualifying for a 24 hour race is more, we call it a bit of a cock comparison <laughs> between everybody, but it doesn't count at all for the race. It can all be undone in one hour. So we focus today a lot on, on race preparation, trying to find the, the right tires. We ended up the night session as quickest car, which again doesn't mean a lot, but it's a good sign, it's good for the team. We're progressing and, and improving every time, so. It's been a busy day, it started this morning at nine, and it's now a lot of meetings, a lot of driving. So we'll be happy to go to bed. Tomorrow is a bit more relaxed. We only start at three in the afternoon. Time to watch data, discuss what we're gonna do, and last day of driving before the race, so. Uh, bit more stressful because last chance is to get everything dialed in on the car and then it's time to go, so good night. So, what day is it? Thursday. Just finished, uh, I went to the truck, we got some data, some video from the other drivers. We went pretty good yesterday, but it's you know you can never stop learning and uh, and improving. So I watched uh, some stuff from the other drivers and looked where I can do better. And I had my massage. And I wanted to go to the hospitality, but it's getting crazy out here with people. Um, it's kind of a luxury thing, but it sounds dodgy. But I'm trying to escape the crowd a bit because if I stand still, I sit still, to speak to my uncle for two seconds, and. Uh, couldn't get running again, so uh, just going to the motorhome now and then some oatmeal and then uh, having some rest because it was a short night. And tonight again will be uh, will be a late night. Tomorrow will be a busy day with the parade, so trying to take all the minutes of free time I can have. Say time for some oatmeal and maybe some picky liners. peaceful day and driving wise working wise it's a free day but a lot of media stuff the parade which is very huge uh, other stuff pre-event meetings mainly today is car loading day one hand one of my favorites but after half a day it starts to get stuff trying to uh, eat a lot of carb drink a lot of electrolytes to, to fill my body up you know get sure your liver is full of, of carbohydrates and uh, and your muscles as well so uh, multiple big meals high in carbs a bit lower protein than normal and obviously no fat the targeting about 600 grams of carbs today Some simple sandwiches peanut butter jelly some meat cornflakes some tea next up is meal prep those of you been looking some vlogs know uh, quite difficult with food <laughs> I prepare my own food before the day before a race. Currently, I'm gonna cook some pasta, some rice. I have like a couple of meals which I go to. It's pasta with, hold on, tunfish, ketchup, mayonnaise. It's a typical Belgian thing. <laughs> uh, rice and chicken, oatmeal, pancakes, and bread and cornflakes. Each meal has around like 100, 125 grams of carbs. So quite a lot, 20 to 30 grams of protein and uh, a bit of fat. We have an awesome hospitality as well, but yeah, I'm just, I feel more comfortable if I, uh, if I make it myself, it's ready. I know what's inside, so there's no. Good, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome here to our Porsche France conference. Thank you, Lisa. We all know it's the 100th anniversary of the Le Mans 24 hours a little bit later. So we've got 10 drivers on the stage here. <laughs> At least it wasn't the shit this time. <laughs> Drivers parade. We love. 
love it. <laughs> you just told me it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, we feel very privileged and uh, it's a nice, nice little distraction a good race. for the race, so let's see how we go. Oh, man. I sit in the middle, so I'm doing a Kevin, throw everything out. I'm the umbrella boy. Here we are, Saturday morning, 9.30. It's race day of the 24 hours of Le Mans. It gives me goosebumps uh, saying that. It's pretty much, I think, behind my marriage and the birth of my kid. The biggest day of my, my life, my career. I'm ready, I mean, just texted back my dad. He wished me good luck. Um, told him I literally done everything I can imagine at my power to, to prepare for this, to be ready for this. And that's all I can do. And I'm ready. I mean, yeah, bring it on and let's see, let's see what it will, will become. I'm not gonna lie, obviously, stress is there, but that's good. I mean, it's a sign that, that I want it, that I'm ready. Feel good, feel fit, weight is on point. I would say, let's do this shit. He had four and a half shits today, so. Vibrations at the end, which I don't know why or we don't know why. 
But Kevin just had a puncture uh, at the beginning of the lap. I think now we're let down. Not really going according to plan. are changing now as daylight is up even the drivers they're getting tired now we have to keep it on the track and we have to do the, the best job we can strategically wise very hard and uh, and in traffic I tried to, to pass an LMP2 I think was a bit optimistic and the guy didn't see me and we had to repair there are now some uh, hybrid issues we lost a lot of time so we we're just now trying to finish the race and yeah tough race Hello, it's Monday, the day after. Quite tired. I think I ended up driving 11 hours almost, almost 150 laps, burn around 5,000 calories. So, uh, yeah, I can feel today. I have muscle pain all around and just tired because we drove back home from the mall last night we wanted to go to paris but then we drove home and got here at two summary obviously disappointed for sure it was a bit difficult to to pinpoint my emotions because i was obviously going into the race with with very high expectations i mean i've, I've worked a lot for it um hard for it and even in the race i think i i did what i wanted to do the team was happy I made one small mistake but it didn't cost us anything on much in the race so i'm happy about that but yeah obviously we finished i think it was ninth the goal was to win at first reaction i wasn't terribly disappointed the way i expected that it would be if, if i wouldn't win probably because i was tired or whatever today that sinks in a bit more like fuck, okay, not just me the whole team everybody spends so much amount of time in this race trying to win it and then obviously the devil in your head's like the fuck all that effort for nothing but that's not the case it's for for the future i'll definitely be back in the mall 100 uh, and i want to win that race one day and i will a dream came true being part of that race driving in that car for that team yeah it's something which will always stay in my memory that's it i hope you kind of enjoyed the behind the scenes of the crazy le mans week i liked a bit of filming during the race i always say before the race this time i'm gonna film a bit and let people know what i'm doing but then you know when you're tired and hungry you don't think about putting your camera up so hope you still enjoyed it and next up is two weeks holiday i'm gonna relax a bit this week Enjoy life for a couple days and then uh, 
the business restarts next episode is also spa which is uh i haven't had any preparation for that yet but there's a physical race so can't stop the show must go on see you soon